It's over. I finished The Sopranos Season 6. I finished the whole series. I need a spinoff, man. Can we get one with Meadow? Hey guys, thank you for joining the quest again today. I'm your host Marquise Underwood and today I'll be reviewing the one and the only The Sopranos Season 6. Now, if you've been following my channel, I've been doing a review for every season pretty much. 1 through 5 are already up if you haven't seen those, so check those out. But I mean, season six, where to start? This TV series is just, is really good. It's very consistent from beginning to end. And I mean, it got better with season six. And honestly, I feel like season six is the best series. And you can't really say that about a lot of TV shows. So for this, the final season to be the best one, in my opinion, that says a lot about the franchise. And I mean, it was just amazing. In the beginning, we kind of get this weird off kilter thing with Uncle Junior accidentally shooting tony because well uncle junior has like dementia if i'm not mistaken so he thought that tony was like one of his rivals from the past so tony's in a coma and we see these visions that tony's having while he's in a coma he has a different identity and he really comes out of the coma with like a different view on life and he kind of takes it more serious it's not really joking around he occasionally still messes with females but like he feels regret about it just based off what's going on and with you know carmella and the kids and everything his crew being there when he was in the coma. So that says a lot about Tony. We see a lot of character growth. From the guy from the beginning that was just, you know, in the mob, just trying to, you know, do every chick that he saw and stuff. And this one, we kind of see him be more family focused. And I really enjoy seeing that. We see Christopher still trying to take charge and still trying to question Tony's authority. Actually in one part of the uh, season, he actually like, Tony's in like the coma. He's coming out of the coma really. And you know, Chris asked for permission to do something, but Tony's not in the right state of mind to like answer. So Chris took it as like a yes. And later on, it kind of bites Chris in the ass and stuff. But I mean, Christopher, I like Christopher, but in this season, I mean, he was just, eh. I felt like he was basically taking advantage of Tony through the situation. And I just didn't like that. This is also a part where like he makes this movie. He, the movie basically reenacts certain things that you've seen in season five or so. And I mean, it was just petty in my opinion, honestly. And while at the end, when he goes, um, him and Tony, they're basically you know, driving, they get into a car accident. Chris is gonna die anyway, so Tony kind of kills him. And I mean, I understand why Tony did it, and I'm not against it. But I mean, I kind of wanted to see Chris go out a different way, honestly. This season, the bread and butter of this season really is AJ. We really see a lot of growth from AJ's character. I would compare like what you see with AJ in this one with what you see with Meadow in season three of her going to college. It's the same kind of thing going on. AJ's kind of at that point in his life where he's trying to see what does he want to do? Does he want to be part of the mob? Does he just want to be somebody else? Who's the man that he's going to become? That's the person that we see in this season, honestly. And I mean, we see a lot of things. We see him coping with depression. He tries to commit suicide. Um, you know, his relationship with his father, just kind of focus more on that and this one. Um, he gets a girlfriend, we see that relationship. You kind of see him kind of being like Tony a little bit in that life. And we just see him, he's kind of like the Fredo of like the Godfather, you know? He's not really strong minded, he's more like emotional. He's always crying or something if he doesn't get his way or something like that. I mean, it, we kind of see it bite him in the ass sometimes. But I really like seeing that dynamic of seeing AJ progress to the team where he's questioning everything, where he's like, what's the point of everything if we're all gonna die anyway to the person now where he's just trying to figure out who he's gonna be. So I really like that growth. And same with Meadow, you know. Meadow in this one, she's pretty much the same person that she was in season five. She's still kind of preachy about her beliefs and not pushing it on her people, but just always mentioning it as uh, certain situations come up. So it's cool to see her go from like the soccer girl from the first one to the college student in the third season to with her relationships and stuff to how she becomes with like the lawyers stuff and doing what she wants and just the relationship between Tony and Carmela is pretty good too. This is probably the best that it's been since the first season I want to say. I mean Tony's being very faithful, not very faithful but he's being faithful as much as possible for Tony's standards at least. And I mean, they just have a good dynamic. But I must talk about the end of this series, man. The end of this season, honestly, I think Tony died. I mean, the camera zooms in on this one guy that happens to look on the shore while they're at the diner. You know, Tony keeps looking up every time he sees a bell. We get this 
uh, shot where Meadow is coming through. She came parked, which adds suspense to the scene. The guy that was looking on shore at the counter, he went to the bathroom, which happened to be right next to Tony's uh, seat. So when Meadow comes in, we see the screen turn to black, which is where I think Tony got killed. Now, it's all ambiguous. You can really take it as whatever you want, but I kind of think that's what the scene was going for. Even the song that was playing, I forget the name of the song. I think it's Don't Stop Believing, actually. I mean, it fit perfectly. It was done really well. It's definitely one of the best endings I've ever seen. So overall, I really enjoyed this season. I'm giving the season an A+, plus, a 5 out of 5. This is probably the best season in the whole series. A little bit right before season 2 in my eyes. It's that close. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Great season, great way to finish it. I love the relationship with AJ. I like seeing Tony change as a person and develop into more of a better human being. You know, I like the whole series and all, just seeing how all the characters grow from, you know, what they were doing to what they became. Also, I want to mention, Fuller House came out recently. I'm a big fan of Full House, so I mean, I definitely had to check that out. I'm probably going to binge watch it, so be on the lookout for that review too. Hopefully it's up within the next week or so. So, have you seen The Sopranos Season 6? If you have, comment below. And I want to know, what's the best season in The Sopranos? And I also want to know, do you think Tony died? If so, why? If he didn't, why not? Again, if you're new to my channel, if you want to hit that subscribe button, you want to like this video, and do me a favor and join the quest.